I'm going to show you guys how to um, administer a nebulizer medication today. Before I start, I of course will be out of the room. I will knock on the door and uh, introduce myself. So it is uh, Mr. Mr. Jones. He has his wristband up here. I'm going to double check that it is Mr. Jones, and it is. So I am in the right right room. Okay. So now I'm going to wash my hands, and I am going to put on my gloves. As I am doing this, I'm also going to educate the patient on why I'm in the room. So Mr. Jones, I am going to be administering a nebulizer medication for you. Your physician ordered that um, as needed for wheezing. So um, you have been wheezing um, a bit. We've, we're gonna give this to you to help you out. Um, the nebulizer uh, will be placed in your mouth and as we get to that point, I'll, uh, I'll teach you more about how to uh, give the medicate or inhale that medication, okay? Some side effects of your uh, nebulizer medication, it's albuterol. Side effects are gonna include um, jitteriness, uh, feeling like you're ready to jump out of bed, a racing heartbeat, those are some common side effects you may experience and those are normal. So don't panic if you feel a little shaky, okay? So there's my side effects for you I wanna talk to you about. Now I'm going to go through my five rights. The first one is the right patient. So at that point, I'm going to ask Mr. Jones, can you tell me your name and date of birth? I'm looking at his wristband and he's telling me his name and his date of birth. Okay, I now am going to look at the medication. I would also look at my medication sheet. I have albuterol and it is 2.5 milligrams per three milliliters and that is the correct dose that would be on my medication sheet. Okay, I have the right med and that right dose which is 2.5 milligrams. The right route is via nebulizer, so we have that there. And then the time, we are wheezing and it's ordered for wheezing, so that is the correct time. All right, before I start, I do wanna to listen to your um, lungs and make sure everything sounds okay. Doing this, I wanna make sure I am listening skin to stethoscope. So I am gonna lower your gown a little bit. There is some wheezing in there, Mr. Jones, so this treatment should hopefully help you out. Respirations currently are 24, but it is a normal rhythm, so everything looks good there, and this treatment should work out for you really well. Um, I wanna make sure before I start this treatment, my patient is sitting up at a, a minimum of 30 to 45 degrees. Um, they can sit up higher, like uh, my patient is doing right now, but um, a minimum of 30 to 45 degrees. Now I'm going to set up my equipment and get that ready to go. I first have this section here. I wanna make sure you understand there is this baffle. It is a green portion. I need to make sure that it is in my container. Not all nebulizers look the same, but this is the most common um, type of nebulizer that you will see. Don't panic if you see something different. Um, we can figure it out, okay? So I've got the baffle in there. I'm going to open up my medication and I'm going to squirt it in there. I'm gonna twist this cap on and place my, my T piece on. I've gotten to this point. I am now going to place the mouthpiece in the, the larger end. And then I have corrugated tubing. I'm going to place that on the opposite end there. Now I have oxygen tubing. I'm going to stick that on the bottom there. So now I've gotten my equipment ready. The next thing is to decide, does my patient need to be on oxygen with my nebulizer or can I use medical air? Looking at my patient, we're, we're ignoring that there's a trach here for a minute. There is no nasal cannula on this patient. That shows that my patient is not on oxygen. I would also look at the chart as well to double check. So my patient is not on oxygen, so I'm going to use medical air. The medical air, is the yellow one back here. Uh, so if this is the medical air. I'm gonna connect my tubing to the medical air. I am going to turn it up to four to six liters until I see a fine mist coming out. At that point in time, I'm going to stick it into Mr. Jones's mouth and I'm going to instruct him to inhale, 
Hold his breath for three seconds and then exhale, continuing this treatment for 15 minutes. During that 15 minutes, I will tap the container to make sure that all of the droplets are being aerosolized into this mist. After the 15 minutes, I will remove this from the patient's mouth and I will turn the medical air off. Okay, so we have given Mr. Jones the treatment. I do wanna to talk to you about the choice between medical inner air and oxygen. If my patient were wearing a nasal cannula, I could leave them on that oxygen and still use medical air as long as I leave that nasal cannula connected to oxygen. Now I'm going to show you um, how to connect this nebulizer to a trach patient, all right? So everything up to this point is the same but we have a trach, so they cannot breathe air through their mouth and nose, we have to utilize their trach. So I have my patient who has a trach mask. This tubing right here, the corrugated tubing, needs to be removed. And I'm going to connect this corrugated tubing to the trach. And at this point, I would have the, this connected to oxygen and running the same as with our oral um, nebulizer. The one thing to remember is our patient is connected to oxygen with this trach. You always want to use oxygen. The nice thing about patient beds is there is oxygen on both sides of the bed. So we have oxygen set up on this side for the trach um, oxygen mask. I have oxygen on the other side of the bed for my nebulizer to be connected to. So I will follow the same exact process with giving that medication to my patient through that trach. After the 15 minutes, I'm going to disconnect and connect the corrugated tubing back to my patient's trach so that he can continue to get the oxygen he needs. I will return him back down to the normal oxygen level he was at so um, that he is not getting too much, too much oxygen. Now that I've administered the medication, I am going to take this portion off and I'm going to take my nebulizer apart. It is extremely important to remember you need to rinse this equipment off. So there is a sink on either side of the bed. You will need to rinse that equipment out. Once you have rinsed that out, you'll dry it off or sit it on a paper towel to let it dry. It is per patient, so this will stay in the patient's room. Now that I'm done with that and I've rinsed the equipment, Mr. Jones, I need to reassess your lung sounds. That wheezing sounds a lot better, Mr. Jones. Your respirations are now down to 18 and you're breathing regularly. And so now that we're done there, can I do, get anything else for you? Okay, nope. I'm going to take my gloves off. I'm going to throw those in the garbage and I'm going to wash my hands and that is how you will administer a nebulizer to our patients.